Rambo, what bring you luck? I don't know. This. All right, here we go, March 2022. And I'm thinking we do something that people have been asking me about for several years. And that's gonna be a Harbor Freight Overnighter. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna hide in the shadows. Um, they promised cloudy skies today and there's not one cloud to be found. So we're looking at sun glare and that'd make for a bad video. So I apologize in advance. Now, yes, 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 and yes, there was a video last week. It was titled, Solo Overnight, Building a Stealth Camp in the Woods. My contact at YouTube explained to me that it was filed away because I mentioned the crisis on that side of the world. So, um, again, Solo Overnight, Building a Stealth Camp in the Woods. Hit it up, watch it, rewatch it, show YouTube that you want Corporal's Corner. Now, today's video, people have asked me for several years, hey man, why don't you hit up a Hobby Lobby or hit up an AutoZone or Harbor Freight and see what you can get for under 100 bucks and show us what you can do. So today's that day. I spent $97 and change and got everything we need for a cool overnighter. Let's get to it. Okay, so real quick, nothing that I chose is over $10, with the exception of this bucket bag. It was around 14 and change. Um, they have backpacks there. They had a real nice one, but they wanted 75 bucks for it, but I thought, no way. Um, but it is what it is. It's reinforced, has leather here on the bottom, and for what it's worth, um, you can carry it, or check this out, go back to a previous video, build a ladder style backpack frame place that bad boy on there, tie it off, and then you have a makeshift bucket backpack. Now after searching the entire store and even asking for help, the only container they had there was this double walled stainless steel coffee mug or coffee cup. Yes, it will hold water. Downside, it's double walled. There's a vacuum inside here. Now the popular theory is that these things can explode. But the reality is they only pop and they usually pop around the seam right here. So taking my knife, I'll go ahead and drill a small hole right here to relieve the pressure. And then the inner wall should be fine and it will allow me to boil any water that I find in a creek. Ordinary common household crappy duct tape Two or three bucks, we have an entire roll. It's silver, but who cares? I can repair my gear, repair my clothing, make butterfly bandages if I need to, or even use it to start a fire. So, I'm happy. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so we have imitation fake ASS paracord. 160 pounds brake strength. It's 1 8 diameter by 50 foot. Um, as long as I'm not using anything, load bearing, meaning putting my body weight on it. You can use this all day to make a small tarp shelter or tie up simple projects. So will it work? Hell yes. The six ordinary ABS tent stakes. I believe they were like $2 and change. Maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't. Um, but I can always keep them for later. Seven by nine. I wanted an 8x8, eight eight, but it's as close as we're going to get. We have two 100% cotton rags. Now, truth be told, when I bought these, they were in a bag. Bag O rags. Either 10 or 12, but I only need two. I can use these to go down to a creek and wash my body parts off. I can use this to clean myself after that infamous deuce in the field, or number two. But 
to be honest, I can take this, since it's 100% cotton, and use this with my container, cover the top of that, and think of my next fire and make char cloth. And we might attempt that later. So we have a headlamp here, and looking at it, it is dollar store quality, and it's garbage. But it's LED, and the funny thing is, and actually the best part, is on the package it says, AA batteries, not included. First off, our hatchet. I didn't need this, but I saw it. It was under 10 bucks, and I thought, what the hell. Uh, Pittsburgh, lifetime warranty. It wants to be a Fiskars. It wants to be one so bad it can taste it. So we'll see how she holds up. What I didn't like was I checked the blade and it is horrible. So I went ahead and got the file so we can sharpen this up. Um, maybe chop some wood. Um, maybe actually see if it will stick in a tree. Who knows? So many choices. We have this folding saw right here. It feels cheap, but the blade is flexible, so that's a plus. And the teeth do feel like they'll do some damage, but only time will tell. Just like Harbor Freight only had one container, Harbor Freight does not, and maybe it's my part of the country, but they do not carry any sort of lighters, BIC or equivalent. They have this magnesium fire starter. So I got thinking, well, you know, does anybody even use this anymore? Um, shave off the magnesium flakes here, or strips, or curls, and then you strike it with the flint right here. So we'll give her a shot, but I mean, we're talking old school AF. All right, before we get started on this bad boy, yes, there were other healthy alternatives. There was a buck knife there, a couple folders, and I saw this and I said, okay, I'll bite, and here's why. There's a button compass on the back. Inside we have a fishing kit, a sewing kit, and ordinary household stick matches. Now, some of these stick matches are healthier than others, um, yeah, but it gives me other alternatives or options. Stainless steel knife, it wants to be in the Rambo collection, but you just can't quite make it or cut it. It is not full tang, it is not a rat tail tang. It's pinned right here, so the blade actually stops right there. The handle's made out of aluminum. Um, it looks cool, so again, with the options inside the handle here and being under 10 bucks, why not? This thing is like a or straight out of an 80s wet dream. Be like, Rambo, what bring you luck? I don't know, this, or come on Bennett, let's party. Or how about, that ain't no knife, this the knife. And last but not least, we have this 72 inch by 80 inch Movers blanket or moving blanket. No wool blankets were there, no sleeping systems, no woobies. So we have to make do. This will cover my body. It's about the same thickness, but it's woven differently as an actual woobie or a swagman roll. So it's not very thick. Um, probably about a quarter inch, somewhere in there. But with the fire, you combine the two or combine the three with your clothing and you'll be in business. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page, and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box.
Look at that steak. Skewered to perfection. Oh man, this is outstanding. A thousand times better than any restaurant. All natural, cooked over the coals. God, catch you all in a few. Mm. Um, real quick though, while I'm thinking about it, because of what happened with last week's video, I won't get back into that, but the shout out that I gave was compromised. Not everybody saw it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pimp that channel again. It's AB Camping, formerly known as AB Outdoors. If you haven't seen him, go ahead and check him out on YouTube. Give him a shout out, tell him that I sent you down there and like and subscribe. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. So I put that 100% cotton inside my container and then went ahead and put a lid over the container. We're gonna try to deprive that thing of oxygen and basically get it carbonized and turn it into um, char material. So we're gonna make char from 100% cotton. Then the weakest spark, say from a magnifying glass or flint and steel, or in this case, my mini ferro rod that's on my magnesium bar. Just be able to scrape that, get a tiny spark and it will actually start burning. I could then transfer that large ember into a bird's nest and blow it in the flame. And there you go, the infamous char cloth. Truth be told, that trick I did with that ABS tent stake with the shavings and the match, that is courtesy of my mentor, my boy, Dave Canterbury of Pathfinder Survival. Go ahead and YouTube search him, Dave Canterbury, Pathfinder Survival. Um, like and subscribe. He's one of the true OGs of YouTube. Check him out. Um, he's honing in on that million subs as well, so give him that bump. Dave Canterbury, Pathfinder Survival. It's been a pretty productive uh, outing here. So we got a lot of stuff done with crap gear from Harbor Freight, under a hundred bucks. So I'm impressed. Long time coming. So thank you to everyone who offered this suggestion. So I'm liking it. With that, I'm gonna load this bad boy up. Catch you all in the morning. Ah, garbage coffee. Okay, let's talk about this shelter. So this video is three years coming, probably about four. People have asked me several times, hey man, go to Harbor Freight and get some survival gear. But as you can see, there's no such thing as survival gear. It's just a bunch of garbage you put into a bag, take to the woods and have fun. Um, shelter, trapper's cabin style, enclosed walls. We built this anvil stump that we have here. Um, I believe it's referred to as a pig. Um, so we could chop some wood. This thing held up well, I mean, it wants to be a Fiskars, like I said. I'm actually impressed with this. I didn't think it was that sharp, but it worked out well. Did have to even sharpen it, so happy with that. Our Rambo knife. Now, this is a joke, and I, like I said, I saw this, and I said, I'll bite. 
because of the other features that were on it, but in reality, it'll probably break. Um, go with a buck knife if that's your choice from Harbor Freight. We went ahead and took our double walled container, popped a hole in it, and boiled the water so we had something to drink and also made char cloth for our next fire. So pretty productive. Um, also, our little skewer for our steak. So we did a lot of bush crafty things here in this video and still had a good time and a nice, comfortable, warm place to sleep. And there you go, solo overnight using Harbor Freight survival gear. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.